University of Nebraska at a women's volleyball tournament. What a lot of physics they're doing here. Well, welcome to the Emeritus Players Challenge. You're watching the final match in this tournament. Uh, the Nebraska Cornhuskers are playing the uh, New Mexico Aggies for the final. And this is a great sport, volleyball, and especially at Nebraska, it is such an event. It's just really incredible. And uh, lots of physics, lots of fun, conservation of momentum, impulse, changing velocities and giving it potential energy and changing some of that potential energy to kinetic energy. And the big thing is the kill shot. Everybody practices the kill shot. Everybody loves the kill shot. Kill shot is when you can uh, uh, score a point and nobody from the other team can touch it or return it. I guess if it touches your fingers, but it slams down to the ground anyway, it's still considered a kill shot. Now in volleyball, you can still get a kill shot just by tapping the ball. But this is what they practice, the big kill shot. Come up for it and smack that thing. Now it's a it's a 10 foot line, and so it's 10 feet to that line, about three meters. And the time is less than two tenths of a second. So that thing is traveling at incredible velocities. The question is, the problem, how do you block it? How do you get in the way of that? How do you bounce it back? If somebody hits that, won't it score every single time? The answer, of course, is no, it doesn't. There are players that uh, can dig for those kill shots and get them up in the air for their team to knock back. It's all about the concept of reaction time, and that's a concept we deal with in a lot of physics labs. Reaction time, how much time it takes you to react. And we get this all the time as an error on labs. Possible sources of error. Reaction time. Human reaction time. Well, reaction time can be adjusted. If you can anticipate an event, if you know something is happening, then you can reduce your reaction time because you're anticipating. These people can see the ball coming, and they go up and they don't have to react to it. They're anticipating it. Now, the idea behind the sport of volleyball is that one team, let's say the, the team that the, the ball's on their side, they're on offense, they're trying to get the other side to miss. So they're trying to set up plays in which they can fool the other side. Because if they know the ball's coming, they can react ahead of time. They've got plenty of time. And when a guy goes jumping up in the air for a kill shot, they really want to have somebody who's diving to the ground to dig that ball out. You don't want to react to the shot. You want to anticipate it so that you're on your way down to the ground even as they're coming up to hit the ball. Of course, there's some risk involved. The idea is you anticipate you're gonna go for a kill shot and you go up there and you get ready to swing and they, they throw themselves in front of the ball and then you just kind of tap it over their heads. And, and it's this real easy to do technique to trick them. But unless your lab partner is trying to trick you, in a lot of labs you can anticipate the move. You can anticipate the person dropping an item, or you can anticipate the car crossing the finish line. So when you hit your stopwatch, reaction time isn't as much a problem as you think it is. You can anticipate and deal with it. Well, this is great. Let's just watch the rest of the game. Nebraska won three to nothing. They haven't lost a match in their home stadium. Uh, I think this was a 65th straight win for them. It's a great team. Hey, thanks. Hope you enjoy this.